Warren Futures joins um, Dan Ball on campus at Milligan University. Um, Dan's from Kent in England. Um, Dan, how's your first experience over here at um, Milligan College? You seem to be enjoying yourself out there at practice. It's, it's, it's been great. It's been banter. We've, we've had a, we've had a great laugh. We started off to the season. Uh, I've records five and two, but since I've been playing with four and zero, so you know it's, 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 it's good for what I've been doing. And the boys have been working hard out on the fields. We've got a lot of internationals. Uh, starting eleven, there's only two Americans. Um, and yeah, I mean, we've got, we've got big aspirations here. We can go to nationals. A lot of pressure from the guys on the. On the Sounds camp, like so. you've had a good start. You've grabbed the gloves, like very, you say. Very, you've, very you've... Good. I mean, I sat out the first two games because I was ill, um, and then once I gained my strength and my fitness, I, ju I jumped back in. Um, and since then, I've played four games. We won all four. Um, Barnstorm and performance as well. I heard you had a, a good win against one of our one of our um, own players like the other night there. Andy Metcalf at Union yesterday, uh, Saturday, um, had an absolute weldy, a serious weldy game. But yeah, we, we went one nil down and come back to win three two. Um, so it just shows the resilience that the guys have got to to dig in and get a result. Absolutely. And this is your game field behind you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know, of a night when it's, it's slick and they've watered it, it looks beautiful. Yeah, you know, we get all the guys up on up on the field. So, what's yeah. a game like under the lights? Ah, oh, beautiful, Be with the mountains in the background. Um, you know, we usually get three or four hundred people on the on the bleachers and behind the goals, so the atmosphere is pumping. Um, yeah. How many people do you get at your games, Dan? Three, four hundred. We had the past couple of games. We're hoping to get another couple of hundred uh, for the next game. So, yeah. what's the difference between here and back home then? Back home, um, everyone's very technically sound. Back home, we've got six or seven players within the team, especially the guy from England and the guy from the Cayman Islands. Um, who, who are technically sound, but everyone's very athletic, very fast, very strong. Um, it's, it's a lot quicker going to it back home, and yeah, it's been a good challenge coming out here and working with such guys. They can move banter, look. I know they are. <laughs> we walked around campus earlier, fantastic place you've got here. Um, Beautiful. How are you settling in? Beautiful school. Um, the ladies have taken to me well. Um, I've taken up the art of, of feminising, very good. Um, feminising? <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean the school is beautiful, it's, it's small. It's not like a big NCAA school, but they're absolutely cruising. <laughs> yeah. It's because you busted that word, femi feminising? <laughs> yeah. I think that's an American word, Dan. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it, it's, it's been amazing. I haven't, I haven't thought about home, obviously I speak to my parents you know, every couple of days. Um, but the guys have taken me in, taken me in well. Um, and yeah, we, as I say, we've got a lot of pressure on us to do well. But you know, from the first you know, seven games, we've we've got a lot of potential to do to do what we're meant to do. Done. Um, I'm not going to keep you much longer. You've got practice to get on with. Um, finally, uh, any advice that you would give for the Sporting Futures class of 2012 coming out? I mean, one thing I would I would say to do um, is if you get taken onto a school, most definitely try and make contact with some of the guys of the team before you come out here, because it made a world of a difference. Me knowing or having spoke to a couple of people um, on Skype and on Facebook, that those people have taken me under their wing and made the whole transition a lot, lot easier. So, you know, if you can, if you can touch base um, and make contact with some of the guys in the team, then you'll be definitely in a good place when you, you arrive here in the States. How was your experience at uh, Sport and Futures USA with Dave and Adam? Dave and Adam took me under their wing uh, in January. Um, everything, you know, uh, moved along pretty quick. Um, there was a few altercations with universities, but they sorted out pretty well. Um, you know, Grandview didn't work and Milligan come in. Um, Dave and Adam, you know, pushed it on pretty quick and I ended up here in Tennessee, America. So it's me here for four years. This is my home sweet home, and yeah, I hope I hope that we can the Buffaloes can push on good um, to nationals and you know hopefully be ranked. Done. Well, really proud of your achievements so far, son. Uh, so keep up the good work and enjoy your season. Thank you very much, boss man.